Hello. Hey, hello. Are you ready? Got our tags. See that pulled one in the middle? Is it a pulled one? Yeah. It's going back right into his head. You think that's a shooter? Came out here and scouted yesterday. Saw a real, real big Pokemon hanging out right here. Now there's pretty good access to here. Super, super windy. We were hoping we could beat the wind out here, but being on these islands, it's still real, real windy. So we we'll kind of just hang out in these trees with the lack of pressure from the past three or four years with the COVID. Um, so we're gonna peek up over this ridge, spotted those, this is our first stop. It's only about five minutes after shooting line. So we're gonna come right up here, we're gonna glass this. We spotted a real, real trophy move on yesterday and then when we were scouting, there was also Axis roaming around with them, but it was so windy. Out here on the islands, wind's definitely a factor. Not only camera-wise, shooting-wise, stalking-wise, anything like that, and scent-wise. So they're gonna go walk over these bluffs. I'm gonna high rack it up here. We're gonna follow this road out down here, meet up with them. And we're gonna see if we can potentially see some that aren't getting disturbed. We had, we've ran into three hunters now. I just zoomed in on that one decent Mufon. He wasn't a trophy trophy, but he, he had cool coloring. We're gonna try this method. He gets us a little bit elevated. Trophy hunting at its finest. All right, we just saw that group of giant rams. We came up over this little valley right here. It's coming up little hills like this just peeking up over, trying to get one canyon off the road where everyone else isn't looking. And we were walking back and I turned around and saw this giant bachelor group. We're gonna walk this road right here and see if we can try to make a line on these guys. We'll see how it goes. I was surprised you didn't shoot them when they were in the group. They were, I couldn't find which one was the good one. It was a little harder. Oh, there they are. See them way out there? Way out there. By that one lone pine thing. Yep, that's them. I watched it on the camera. You didn't get him. I mean, we can go double check if you want. You didn't see the bullet hit, did you? No, I was zoomed in on them too. I mean, I can watch to double check, but I was watching pretty good. There was a lot more down in here than we thought. Yeah. They started coming out of the woodwork. Yep. Well, 
didn't exactly plan out how we wanted we came up over the hill we did find that group again we there were so many down in here we came up over we had four that were crested on the hill right here the does that gave us away or i guess the views that gave us away we weren't even positive they were down below us we figured they were but they came up the side of the hill and the whole bachelor group was just right in a pod and i think i'm gonna have to go back and look at the film but i think the lowest closest one to us was the biggest one um I mean, bunched up together, and I couldn't find the big... Now, it's blowing 25 miles yeah, an it's... hour out here. Uh, this bullet drift out here with these big muzzleloader bullets. Yeah, and this 30-mile-an-hour winds. I mean, know. it's... Yeah. I hate to hit the wrong one or wound the wrong one. So, just do what we can do. Second thoughts? <laughs> if, if I fall off the mountain. <laughs> Second thoughts is better having one ram yeah. instead of 10 rams that are touching each other. Yeah, yeah they were very close. That's sheep hunting out here. It's, I mean, probably looks all fine and dandy on camera, edited and everything, but you're busting, you're busting it out here. That's for sure. So we're going to move on, see if we can find some others or potentially run into them again. We're going to find them. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we were going to find them an hour ago. <laughs> Alright, so we spotted some more right in this ravine. He says hello. We're gonna ride right up here. They're only 536 yards away right now. And they're just kind of staring at us. They just walked right down into the ravine. So he's gonna drive us up this road and then we're gonna hop out and we're gonna see if we can make a stock on him. You gotta try it. Ricochet off something. That was a tough shot, man. What can you do? It's tough out here. Big country. We gave her a go. No cigar. Oh, we got yeah. some rice Good. and some Polynesian wild boar. Look at this. Ooh. Dinner time. We went over today. Okay. We're gonna walk up to the mountain. Okay. All the way up to the top. <laughs> it's a windy one this morning. It's windy this morning. Okay, good luck. Yeah. See you guys. Good luck. All right, so we dropped them off. We're gonna gotta do the same thing as yesterday. They're gonna walk the two-ish miles up to the next road. We're gonna go back around. We're gonna walk down, meet up, meet up back at the truck. Got him. Look at the turkeys. Good shot. That was a tough shot through those trees. Good shot. Oh, we did it. Oh, man. Sneaking all the way down the mountain here, all through these. We did it. <laughs> oh, 5,000 miles away. We did it. <laughs> Remote Hawaii. In about six inches between tree branches. Oh, yeah. Good work. Wow. Let's go check this out. I know I didn't get the buck when he shot. I was on a doe and I was just trying to get the shot, but it was so thick. They were barking at us. They knew we were there. We had one opportunity. I didn't want to move and bust them. So we got the best footage we could for you. And this was, that was a lifetime experience. Yeah, good work. The, loader and the, the branches. Yeah. 
let's go check him out. He's not a big one, but for out here in Hawaii, not a super giant, but he's definitely a respectable, respectable axis deer. For Hawaii, they do. For Hawaii, yeah. Especially on the island we're on. Just so dry that they just had such a tough time. He's a respectable, good eating buck. Good work, old man. Thank you. Now we can do the catch, clean, cook part. That was the hard part, laying one down. It's tough out here. One axis, two move one. Day number two. <laughs> and some good food. <laughs> and, a, and a little bit of celebration. <laughs> All right, going back out. Let's do it. That was a pulled ram, that was kind of cool. I got some right here in front of me. I walked down from the truck right here. My dad went on this little ravine and kicked him back. He's down here. Well, I got him. 170 yard shot across the canyon with the crosswind coming down with the muzzleloader, so. Filled my tag, we got one. Hawaiian Mufon in the bag. We're gonna go see uh, what he looks like and go back to the road, kind of mark ourselves, and then make the trek in. We'll catch up with you there. Running out of time up here in Hawaii. This is day number three. We got one more day and I wanted to make sure to get a Hawaiian Mufon. Um, I wanted to try the meat, do a catch and cook for you guys, something like that. And just the good old memories out here. Spending time with the old man and everything. It's fun. Yeah, he was like right here on this face. Right here. Oh, yeah, he's not bad at all. He's not very big though, body wise. Look how small. No, he is. I know. Golly, their bodies. Pocket and carry him back. Yeah, their bodies are small. Nice shot. Yeah, long shot across the canyon. Nice. <laughs> Hawaiian move on. That's a good one. Hey, you made a great shot on it. He's actually bigger than I thought. Yeah. Nice, good, respectable Hawaiian Mufon. He's still not a giant, but he is not bad. 170 yard shot with the crosswind coming. I aimed a little bit, about, I don't know, eight inches in. Wasn't a lot of guesswork except for the wind and you did that just right. Yeah, dropped it right down on him. And there you have it. Completely purebred Hawaiian Mufon out here in the vast island of Lanai. Definitely happy with him, definitely one for the book. Good work, old man. Thanks. Heavy? Not exactly easy. Woo! Good experience, definitely one for the books. Your turn. After we shot my MUFON, we walked way down in here and there was a ton of axis deer and a ton of game right on kind of the edge by the ocean. So we're gonna walk, make the trek way down here. We got about two hours of sunlight left. So we're gonna spend the rest of the night down here, see if we can whip something up. We're hoping something's down there and we can make it happen. Evening number three, let's do it.
тем. И я. Hundred and forty four with forty mile an hour crosswind. Good shot. Oh my gosh. Dumped him. Alright guys, we just made it back to the truck. Dropped him, but he was completely across the canyon and the sheer cliff of the canyon was straight down. We gotta find a way down to the other canyon and go down from that angle because down below us it was a straight wall. Heck of a shot. Well, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> we only got one last day, so we're gonna spend most of tomorrow trying to get that big boy and it's a heck of a time out here in Hawaii. Two minutes later, What's up, man? Uh, like, uh, nice, bro. 25 inches, you think? Yeah. Oh, I'm really happy. Yeah. Heavy. Oh wow. See how dark they are, man? Look at that. That's yeah, nice. Hell yeah. Congratulations. Yeah, that's the one I thank you. <laughs> Look at that. That looks I'm quite enough. <laughs> yeah. It's a what'd you call it, Cody? Call it moy. Called a moy. That looks really good. Smells good. Tried it because there was no room to steam it. Oh. So that's crispy garlic and ginger and peanut oil. And garlic salt, pepper, and oyster sauce, and brown sugar wow. glaze. Woo! And this is not how we normally steam it. <laughs> <laughs> but we gotta do what we gotta do here. That's it. Hey, it works. That, try that steak. That freaking steak is awesome. <laughs> Eating good. The only place in the United States that has purebred free range mouflon is Hawaii on Lanai. Everything else is a mixed breed, and this is the only place. He told me that, and that was pretty gnarly, so. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Chef Ian. All right, so Lanai Mouflon backstrap. We got some chopped up cilantro, some garlic, some ginger. Should have been minced a little bit more, but <laughs> we'll roll with best it. we could do. Then we got some round onions, Maui sweet round onions, lemon, lime, and some vinegar. And actually, one more thing we're missing. Over the next day, and then a brown black pepper. Cilantro in there, ginger, onions. Add a little bit vinegar in there, and that helps cook everything inside there. Soften everything up. I've never ate anything raw. Sushi, nothing. The no Hawaiians are crazy. <laughs> You're gonna love it. The black pepper. Mix it around. Change color. Yeah. That vinegar kind of with the acid and stuff, it kind of cooks it. Or? Yeah. Spicy soy sauce. It's gonna get a little, a little wider, brown. <laughs> it's kind of there, right? Yeah. Oh, for dreams. Oh yeah. Purebred raw mouflon right there. Try it. <laughs> have you had it before? Oh yeah, I love it. Oh, oh there you no. go. Oh, big boy. Wow. Nope, I can't. Try it. Good. Mm. Well, do it. Is it actually good? Yeah. What do you mean is it actually good? <laughs> it's good. Cool. Right. Right, even fresh one. Fresh yeah. one? And Great. it's cheap to <laughs> All right, we're trying it. Oh my god. <laughs> hey, we're trying it. Get a little piece. It tastes Get a little piece. See? It you can't even taste raw meat. You, try them. you taste citrus. <laughs> you taste good. cilantro. No, it's really good. See, right now he wants to say it's not good, but he's like, that's not as bad as I thought. Be honest. Kind of tastes like salsa. Yeah. Exactly. Oh. It doesn't taste like raw the meat. Texture's like it's it's good. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Ceviche deer meat. That's what it is. See? I don't understand the purpose of doing it. It's it is. You, this is straight it's protein. We're gonna <laughs> have a candy bar. Catch gonna cook with the move on raw meat out here in Hawaii with the Hawaii guys. Woo! Woo! All right, next morning. Going down, seeing if we can find the axis. We believe he's right up over this cliff. It might be one more. As of right now, we are about 1,400 feet away. So we're gonna go up here. I marked him on the onyx, so we should be able to find him. We're just not sure if it's this candy or the next one. Catch up with you when we get down there. Here he is. That axis deer. 
Wow. And he was lodged in there. Yeah, he was. That's definitely one for the book. Wow. He's been rubbing. Oh yeah. That's a heck of a deer. Yes he is. Do a little redneck measuring. I'll say right at 30. 12 inches. 18. 29 inches. 6. 12. 18. This one's, I think a lot longer. Uh, 24. Ooh. 24 plus 6 is. Oh right at Right 30. at 30. So he's 29 and 30. Good work. Wow. Heck of an experience. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, yeah, there's a real old one. That thing's ancient. He's got some horns. He probably died of old age back in here. I mean, we're back in here. Yeah, you we are back the in the boonies next to the ocean, way out here. Isn't that crazy? You can see where they go up here, sit up under here, get out of the wind. Look at this old boy. Nice European mount. I mean, look at these dens. This whole canyon right here is just all rocks with cut out dens like this. Not even really a den, just kind of like, like an uplift. Cave. Yeah, it's kind of like a sheep hole. Cave. It's crazy. You can see where they sit in there. Yeah, it's up all just land. complete dust, all wrangled up. I mean, the, the whole ground is just covered all with poop. Good work. This, what an experience. Hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget that subscribe button. We're gonna take some pictures, get out of here. I'll throw some up right now. And uh, hope you all enjoyed this one. Have a good day. Peace. So he missed his shot. He said he wasn't gonna miss. His first one was gonna be dead and he missed. Yep. So he's got uh, four price. shots in one. Could you pull? Your own bet. <laughs> we all bet against him. <laughs> Hey, hold on. Here we go. Bro, that's more than four shots, guys. <laughs> that's way more than four Maybe shots. Maybe it was good. Come on, all the way, all the way. <laughs> all the way, Ian. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> you got that, buddy. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Fuck, that was in four <laughs> shots. <laughs>